welcome to Copacanan. So, um, I picked a few cards just for general read. And um, the first card that we got is the Four of Swords. And this shows someone sort of, um, this really makes me think of this time of the year if you're watching this right now. It's about is December. It's in the middle of December and it makes me think of hibernating. And a lot of us do that in the winter. We kind of hibernate and repair things that might need repairing. Next to that, I have another four, the four of pentacles. This kind of makes me think of whatever hurt this is this is you know like this is us repairing whatever might be hurting us or would have whatever may have befallen us before this and then this is us this is a behavior associated with that hurt right because the four is i'm clutching this purse to my chest i'm going to stay in this energy because i know this energy is safe i know it, whether or not it it would be it we we think of this energy as stable. And fourths are, to some extent, very stable. But in th both of these cards, there's not a lot of action going on. And I really feel like right now with the energy, there's a lot of, there's a lot of huge stuff coming, thrown, you know, being thrown at us right now. And this stance that we may have been in, you know, for some of us, I feel like some of you may have been in this dance for a while, where we're keeping things to ourselves, we're going to keep things as they are, and that doesn't necessarily mean, um, it just means this feels comfortable, right? And a lot of times that's what we're looking for, we're looking for comfortability. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm being reminded of my, uh, my friend who was an anthropologist and he used to say that, uh, you know, we talk about human beings being logical and that we like to think logically, but, you know, not a lot of us, not, not often do I find a lot of people sitting around going, oh, I just want to read my calculus book or, you know, because that's logic. Um, there's logic out there, but a lot of times what we're drawn into is the human interaction, the drama, right? And whether we want to or not, sometimes I think it catches our eye, just like this light behind me. <laughs> um, because below that, I have three of pentacles. And this is, you know, there's three people in here, and they're all interacting together. And I really feel like, I mean, Three of Pentacles can mean work. But with this Three of Pentacles, I often think of creative work. Um, what we need in order to, to move creatively forward. And who we might need to work with or how we might need to work with other people. Um, because I think right now, especially because we're getting to that time where we're thinking about the new year, we're thinking about what, what we'd like to bring in, okay? That might not be here right now. And I'm saying that because right next to the two fours, the four of swords and the four of pentacles, I have the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles, and right when I picked this up, what I heard was dark night of the soul. There's something being purged about whatever this was, whatever this behavior was, that kind of kept us in this stance, okay? Something about this is very safe. Have you ever noticed that when you have um, angry, angry feelings, right? But maybe they it happened at work, but you can't bring it up at work because you have to keep working there and you can't tell so-and-so off. But you might come home and then the people that are safe get your anger because they're safe and you know that they'll still be there later. There's something of that here. 
there's something of a behavior where we're keeping things um, not even status quo. I can't quite verbalize it, but above that, I have this. So I feel like this is where our dreams are. And some of us maybe thought, um, there's thoughts of like, this is, you know, because this is the pig flying and this is a dream that we feel like maybe this dream can't come true. And I think spirit really wants you to wish for that. But there's, in order to get to this, where we're moving on to something, because sometimes I, I keep, I keep hearing, you know, these kinds of things don't happen to me or these kinds of things happen to other people. Um, or, you know, I could be caught here for a long time and nothing manifests, you know, with the wish of this. But I think that's why, I mean, I think this was essential and I completely understand this, this stance. Okay, because whatever came before that, where we decided to hibernate, it was really important for us to have a moment of repose, right? I keep showing you the cards, but it's it's a, a moment of um, being still. And I think as human beings in the modern world, that's a very odd thing for us, right? Because we're always supposed to be moving on to the next goal, doing such and such things. But sometimes those years where not a lot goes on, I mean, and I, and I do mean years, sometimes there's years where not a lot goes on. We're learning in a very peaceful, quiet way. Because I really feel like with this card, we needed the downtime. But I think Spirit's coming in to say, I'm going to kind of ruffle feathers. And so with this card, Dark Knight of the Soul, I really feel like for some of us, there's challenges in order to break out of this energy. Because sometimes when you get into a groove with energy, it's hard to get out of it. And there might be big challenges moving forward or moving into a different energy. So I want to show you the last card at the bottom of, or at the at the end of the deck, which was Six of Wands. And this is Victory. And this is a very different color than the rest of our reading. We don't have this color anywhere else. And I feel like what we're seeing here is up and coming, up and coming. Sixes, I really feel like, you know, I know the Six of Pentacles is reciprocity, but I really feel like a lot of the six, it's, it's much more even, right? It's give and take. Four is even as well, but I, it has a different connotation a lot of times. Six, I really feel like there's movement back and forth. And I think that's why we have this with the Five of Pentacles, Dark Knight of the Soul. Okay, so I'm going to do a healing for Dark Knight of the Soul. And you are more than welcome to stop here if you'd rather not. But if you'd like to continue with me, then I'm going to pause for a moment and then we'll work on that. Okay? All right. So here we are and we're going to work on Dark Night of the Soul. So if you're going through a Dark Night of the Soul or if you find this video sometime later and you feel like that's where you are, then this healing is for you. Okay? I'm calling in my guides, my angels, my star family. And I'm going to set my intention for this healing. And I invite you to do the same. Kiana Awara, a young boy, Yawa, one nature out. La our Kiana Awiana Kia out, Tiana Cha. Kay Shana Viana Tatiana Ta Abana Eki, he also ne Uma Mana. 
te a o ke ke a te a ki ke a te a ki ke a te a ki ke a he o no shu ana te pu a he ana shu ana e ki a o no tu a he ana shu ana e Hume e titi te e te taa, taa o yana, tono e o nei, huma o kau ne e te au, shi ana te au. Ki e ki te te na koe, te na au kuke, tono o. Tono o ni na u. Hana no no shai ke ke ana ta ni ke ana ona ona to ke no no. Ina e te da au ka o ko ta 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 na a ke ke na ta da au. Tono.
I'm working to fortify your core. All right, my lovelies, take care.